Paolo Reversi said to me, Kirsten, modeling is an art and you are an artist. <laughs> Modeling was never something on my radar. I grew up on a farm with six brothers, and when I was 15, I got scouted at a Tim Hortons, and this shift happened in that moment. This was something really special, and this is what I was supposed to be doing with my life. I never got to see anyone who looked like me growing up on billboards or magazines and little girls and boys around the world who made me feel different or insecure or have any sort of difference about them, which really is every kid in the world. They get to see someone who looks different, feels different as well. When I started modeling, one of the best advices that I had was from Kate Moss. Kate was a mentor to me when I started my career, and she said, this job is not about you looking pretty, and it's not about you. You're a canvas, and you're part of a team, and together you're going to build the concept and tell a story. So the faster you understand that, I think, as a model, the better you'll be at your job. When we started, what did we know what the job description was? We, we had no, no I idea. I had no, oh, yeah. no idea. It's a living experience. And I don't think anybody really knows what a model does except models. Mm. And when you get on set for the first time and you're a you know, teenager, nobody tells us what mm. to do. We have to learn what it is to be a model. You're a cat. You're stuck in a cage. You're trying to come out. Then when you say to someone like, and what does a model do? Mm. If you ever say to make people feel something, you get a giggle. However, you're a part of the arts. It's a multi-billion dollar industry where mm. you are trying to sell something or at least achieve a feeling from someone. Mm -hmm. And I think that's always my goal. Actors, dancers, singers, performers, they all understand that. The room should applaud. The room should be so excited what they just saw because everything they put into hours and time and commitment onto us canvases, mm. it was achieved. I feel that way when I watch you model stuff. I'm, I'm so serious. serious. <laughs> You're so good. No, you hang on. Every, no, you, but I was actually really excited to watch all of us. Everyone was creative, but the model just was like a puppet. And I decided that I, that was not working for me and I wanted to try to find my way so that I could have fun with it too. And I started to try to force myself to get out of my comfort zone and, and actually follow my intuition and move and do stuff in front of the camera. What have I not done for a shot? Oh my god, I mean... We took an, a helicopter and they dropped me off on this glacier and then left me alone on the glacier. It was a little scary, but really fun. I'm always up for anything on a shoot. But they were like, don't like, don't walk too far in any direction, because you might just fall. For the Puma campaign with Roy McGinley, I jumped from the balcony onto the swing, swinging around seven like, floors up in the air. Uh, we got the shot, and then we didn't know how to get back. So <laughs> it took about an hour. Uh, and a lot of people to get me off that thing. Yeah. Quick fire of things. I've been on the top of skyscrapers without any sort of safety net, just to stand on the edge of the roof. I've been in rooms on fire. And if you feel nothing at work, then I guess you don't really get to qualify yourself as a top model. <laughs> I put a lot of things on hold because of modeling. I mean, a model lives with their suitcase half packed. You give up having any long-term plans, like go to a friend's birthday party or go on vacation, and then the day before you get called for a big job and you kind of have to like put everything else on hold. The struggle is part of the process. Mm -hmm. it's, it builds character. 
it teaches you about yourself more than the highs. And when I started my career, nobody understood my look. Nobody knew what to do with me. I was considered edgy looking and different looking. And I would go casting after casting and people would just throw my book away. 10 castings a day and it was 10 no's a day. You could do things to be productive, to prepare, even if you're not working. So when you get a job, you are the best version of yourself. Youth doesn't mean success. In fact, patience and putting the time and the effort. 10,000 hours to be a professional at something. It's not going to be automatic. It will take time, but time also means age, and that is okay. It takes time to really understand moving with purpose. You know, not just doing something because it's pretty or doing something because it's controversial, doing something because it works. Models. I guess feel like they're going to be replaced. And so why would I help my replacement? It's been something, but I, in my point of view, has always been, well, I will be replaced. So how would I just make it easier? easier. Yeah. Yeah. So personally, we did create a space for models to, to train with me and to learn their rights. I have classes on contracts and agencies mm. and accounting. And they're like, this sounds boring, but once they learn, they're like, I did not know this mm. was even a part of my job responsibility yeah, so this is so true like the real true meaning of being a trailblazer it's not just mm. walking the path it's making that path for others to walk through easier than you yeah. did I remember the first time seeing a model with vitiligo yeah. get a job after I had been pretty much the only one yeah. I had ever seen and I remember people being in the comments like oh Winnie Harlow yeah. watch mm -hmm. your back oh yeah. this girl's coming no. for your job and I was yeah. like no. The whole point of me, me doing, doing what I do is, is, is so that I can like cry tears of yeah. joy uh, to see someone who mm -hmm. looks like me and now yeah. I feel represented yeah. as well. It's not about yeah. just being the only one, yeah. it's yeah. about breaking that mold yeah. so that there's more people and more space. You're always Backstage told, you're really it good, you're really good, you're really right. good. And you're yeah. like, I am, but like, what are you seeing? And then you see someone else, you're like, oh, I know why you're so good. And right. I understand why you keep working and I know what, why everyone loves you. It was really special today to watch each one of you. 100%.